Hi all, welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video, we'll study about reading a table from the database, Azure SQL database in Azure Databricks. How we can read the contents of a table from the SQL database through Databricks. So the prerequisites for this scenario is you have to have SQL database created as well as the Databricks instance. Then we can go into accessing the table from the Databricks. Now, there is an official documentation page from Microsoft, which is under the Databricks documentation, where we can connect the external data through JDBC, Java Database Connectivity. So what this standard page suggests is, Databricks supports connecting to external databases using JDBC okay and further down the article they have mentioned how we can do it through Python's SQL and Scala we will in this video focus on Python by making Python as the language in the Databricks notebooks then comes the important point about creating the secrets and then accessing the username and password this we will not cover in this video so we will directly jump on reading the data with the JDBC. Okay. And to read the data with JDBC, we have to configure a number of settings to read using JDBC. And the first block is with the Python code. So this is the code which we'll be using. Here we have created a data frame and then we are trying to read the format JDBC, URL, DB table, user, password, etc. So all these settings or details need to be filled there and these values I will tell how we can write. The very important thing over here is the URL. Okay. From where we have to get the URL and write it correctly so that we can connect to the SQL database through Databricks. So let's first go to the portal by copying this command. I will mention the link of this documentation from Microsoft in the description. So let's copy the Python code from here and we will go to the Databricks. So this is my Databricks workspace. Okay. And you know, here in the workspace, we have the users and under my user, I'll create a notebook. So I'll write the notebook as read table from SQL DB. Okay. Default language is Python. We will leave it as is and the cluster is already there. So let's create the notebook. And in the very first command, we will type the syntax which we have copied from the standard documentation. So we have here copied the syntax. It says employees table is the data frame. You can give the name as per your choice. So here in the copied command, in the official documentation, they are accessing employees table. So they have given the data frame name as employees table. In our case, we have a different database. Let's go to the database first. This is my database page. Test DB CK is the Azure SQL database name and we are already there in the query editor mode and you can see if we open the tables list here there are tables customer customer address product etc because i have enabled adventure works sample database during this sql database creation i could see these sample tables which are lying under the sales lt schema as different tables okay so let's preview the table contents for customer and product. Let's run this query. So here for the customer, we have the customer related details. Okay. And in the product, we have product related details. So this is my Azure SQL database and through Databricks, we will try to access one of these tables for this demo. So let's go back to the Databricks and here 
we are not going to access the employees table so we will name the data frame as df customers so we have named it as per our choice so we have renamed this because we are going to access customers table next comes the first setting read format is jdbc which will be as is next option is the url and here within these double quotes we have to mention the url so from where we can get this jdbc url in order to fetch that we have to go to the sql database again and we have to go to the connection strings over here so click on connection strings on the left side and here in the connection strings we have different tabs we have to select in our case jdbc because we have the connection through jdbc so in the setting where we have to mention the jdbc url so we have to take this jdbc string up to the data base name so let's copy this string from here and we will just paste it here for reference and then we will take the value till this database okay because after the sql server name port database is there and next comes the user password so we are not going to take user password till last only till database name we have to copy and we have to paste here in place of the jdbc url this is done i just pasted this jdbc string here so that we can clearly see from here and copy so this is done uh, this command i can now delete next comes db table the table name which we want to access so the table name if we go back here into the query editor log into the database under tables we are going to access sales nt dot customer table so let's go back here and we will write the table name sales lt dot customer okay so url db table we have written next comes user where we have to write the user name so again we'll go back to the sql database and here upon clicking this login you can see the login id and the password so we'll use the same so the login id or the username is test dbck so we'll write the same here test dbck and the password so here since this is for demo purpose i have created this sample database which i'll delete after this demo so i am writing the password here openly okay in order to avoid showing the username and password i have already told that here you can create beforehand the secrets and the link is given here how you can create it and initialize during cluster creation so i have written the password too so all the required settings are done now we will try to execute this command one so let's try to execute the command the shortcut is shift enter it will ask you to start attach and run so we'll start attach and run so that the cluster will start cluster is completely inactive so it is going to start the cluster and then run this command let's wait for the command to execute so the cluster has started after few minutes and now the command is waiting to run from waiting to run to running command so the command has executed and if we try to open this arrow it will show us the columns which it has fetched okay so we are successfully able to establish the connection from this data bricks using jdbc to the sql database 
Okay, so this is done perfectly. In the next command, in order to view the contents of the table, okay, we will try to create a simple temporary view. So let's take this data frame, copy the name, and in order to create a temporary view, we have the command create or replace temp view and within brackets we'll give the temporary view name v underscore let's say customers okay so this command will create the contents of this data frame a temporary view which will be named as v underscore customer so let's execute this too the command is executed successfully next in order to access the data through this view, we can write the magic command percentage SQL so that the language for this command 3 will turn into SQL language. And normally, as we do in SQL to access the contents of the table or the view, we will write the same kind of query here. We will write select star from this temporary view name. So what is the name? It's v underscore customer and we'll execute the command. So the data appeared here of the customer table. Okay. All the columns are populated with the data and then we can further work upon this table through Databricks. So this is how we can read a table from the SQL database through Azure Databricks. Thank you for watching the video. Happy learning. Bye.